Welcome, thank you for joining. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Miss Weisenstein and I teach science in Southern Illinois. Quick reminder that today in this video, I'm gonna tell you some fast facts about Yosemite National Park, but what I'm not gonna tell you is the geological history of the park because I wanna leave that up to you to investigate. So Yosemite National Park is the third national park in the United States and it became a park in 1890. But that wasn't when it first was protected. John Muir serves as a fantastic advocate. He was one of our first environmental advocates who really um, was emphasizing the importance of protecting our lands and not destroying the natural beauty that we've got. So he um, was a, a, a real pioneer and a leader in that. And in 1864, President Abraham Lincoln signed the protected um, land act the Yosemite land grant that protected Yosemite National Park so before it was actually a national park the, the land itself was already protected and people wanted to protect Yosemite National Park because it is a beautiful unique landscape if you, if you look a lot of people come to see this natural beauty found in Yosemite Valley here's a picture of that and the national park is also really popular for rock climbers. Some of the most popular rocks for climbing are El Capitan and um, Half Dome. You can see those in these pictures here. So people will come from all over the world to climb these famous routes. And another really interesting thing that happens only about two weeks out of the year, the Horsetail Fall the, um, in February, the sun when it's setting, will hit the light, the sun's reflection will hit the waterfall in just the right way that it looks like it is glowing red and it looks like there's just hot lava flowing over the edge of the waterfall. So that's very beautiful and only occurs two weeks of the year and even then you're not guaranteed to see it because it's gotta be perfect night sky conditions. There's gotta be enough water in the waterfall to reflect that light and give that bright orangish red glow. Okay, now, a quick story from my visit at Yosemite National Park. I did a hike to Vernal Falls, and there are lots of waterfalls in Yosemite National Park. People come to look at these. Here's, I already showed you Horsetail Fall, and here is Vernal Fall and another famous waterfall, one of the tallest in the world, Yosemite Falls. And so I, I hiked to Vernal Falls, it was really beautiful. And after that, I decided I wanted to hike to Muir Lake. So I went to that trail, went to hike, and um, I was expecting to see a really beautiful lake full of water and just have really nice scenery. And I was a little bit disappointed when I got there because it turns out Muir Lake doesn't really have very much water in it. Um, they only has water in the spring and early summer when the spring water is running and filling the water with lake, but even then it has a pretty small amount of water. I haven't seen it, but I've heard that when there is water in the lake that it gives off this, and the water is like really calm, that it gives off this beautiful mirror-like reflection of all the scenery and the mountains around it. And it's really, really beautiful. What I saw was also really beautiful. It just, there's no water. It was where a lake would be. And there's a sign that says, Mirror Lake right there and there's no water, but it was still interesting to look at. Um, okay, so uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave some investigation up to you and some things that you could investigate oops, at Yosemite National Park include what are the, what's the type of rock that is creating these beautiful features like El Capitan and um, Half Dome and all of the other rocks in Yosemite Valley. We're gonna, you could do a really close up investigation of El Capitan and uh, learn about igneous intrusion. So how did these rocks form? Where did, where did they originate? And then lastly, how is the geology changing in present day? And one way we're gonna look at that is looking at rockfall. So I hope you enjoy this video and that you get out and investigate Yosemite National Park. Bye.